Well, hello, kids. We are here today, and we are going to do some simple writing. Today, we are going to write about polar bears. Polar bears. We are on winter videos. The great thing about this video, it is a live taping in a real classroom. We have teachers that send us videos, and we just put the narration to them. So, we are going to get started. I hope you guys all have a piece of paper in front of you and a pencil because right now we are going to focus on our topic, which is polar bears, polar bears. Okay, so let's begin by spelling polar bears. Our topic gets written first. So we start with P, 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 O, 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 O. And then we are going to write an L after that O. So let's write the O. The L for la 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 la. And polar has A R at the end. Okay, so now we need an R. And polar bears are two different words. So we need our spacing. We need to place a spacing after polar. Okay, use your pointer finger or your pointer stick. And bears, ba 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 ba, begins with a B. Bears, and how we spell the rest of bears is E. So we're going to write an E. A. Please write your A. These are all lowercase letters. R. And S, because bears is plural, okay? So we have written our topic. Usually, when you write, you start with you, or you begin with your topic. So our topic was polar bear, so we wrote that first. Now, our sentence is going to be, polar bears are white. That was the sentence that the kids came up. So we're going to make another space, and we are going to write the sight word are polar bears are we need a connecting verb or a connecting word after the topic so we have polar bears are okay polar bears are and we have white we are going to write the word white okay so how do we spell white? We have a WH sound. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we don't have space to write on the um, top line. So that's what um, they are showing you. So we're going to write white. W H I I I I. We have a silent E at the end of white. So that means you're going to say the long I and a silent E. So your teacher or your parent can teach you about the A consonant E, the I consonant E, and the sounds with that. What comes at the end of a sentence? You have it, a period. So we have completed this sentence. Let's go back and read the sentence together. Polar bears are white. We have the topic, we have the connecting word, and we have our thought. Our thought is white, that polar bears are white. We remembered from our uh, thinking map that one of the details is white. Now, um, let's think of another sentence. And we can say, and we're going to use a different connecting word, and we're going to use the connecting word have. So let's think of a different sentence. Polar bears have fur. That's a great sentence, OK? Polar bears have fur. So again, we're going to begin with our topic, which is polar bears. We've ended that other sentence, so now we must start with another capital letter. So polar bears, we know how to spell it, P-O-L-A-R, space. Please remember your spacing. It makes the paper look so nice, and you can separate your words and read them in a great manner. Polar bears, so we're writing bears again, B-E-A-R-S, because bears is plural, just a reminder. Now we have to make another space, but I don't have any more room. So when you run out of room, you must go to the next line. 
So we're using our connecting word have, have. Some teachers like to call it a connecting verb, but we can say a connecting word, and it is have. You should know how to spell have from your sight words, H-A-V-E. And again, we need to have another spacing. And what was our detail? What was our thought? Fur. Polar bears have fur. And that is exactly what we're going to write. Fur, er, er. U R makes the er sound, and fur, fur, fur is our beginning sound. So we have fur, er, f u r with a period at the end. This is so fabulous. We have written two sentences. The best way to know that you have written two sentences is because you have two periods. So let's read our sentence. Polar bears are white. Polar bears have fur. Polar bears are white. Polar bears have fur. You are so awesome. You have just written about polar bears. This was a simple lesson. You can go with your parents or your teacher and go into a more detailed lesson and a more thorough lesson. But this is just a visual of what your writing should look like. Nice and neat. And how you should use your spacing when you are writing sentences. I'm so glad you joined us. We are going to have lots of more writing um, lessons. So please tell your friends, tell your family to come in and learn with us on the Deal Learning Channel. It's free, free education. How can you beat that? Goodbye.